Come on, everyone, now get into your places. You heard her. Into your places now. We're coming. I'm, I'm coming. We're looking at my place, Anna. So much Tessa. Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Tessa. You better be, be Leo. careful next I'm time. I'm here. You're watching Clover's and Honey AG. Enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. It's Alex, and I thought today I'd give you an All My Dolls video. So this right here is my first doll. Her name is Anna Jensen. She is a Truly Me 23, and she is the head of the family. I got her in 2012. Um, well, I didn't get her, my sister did, but that's beside the point. She's the mom of the family and is currently my only hijabi doll. This is Ash. They are a Truly Me 61. I got them in 2014 at the New York Doll Place. Um, they're not part of the main doll family. I don't really photograph them a lot. Um, and yeah, that's really all that happens. They're not a very interesting character. This is my third doll, Lily. She does not look like this anymore. Um, but yeah, she's a Truly Me 59. She was customized to be a boy doll. And yeah, I don't really use Lily that much. This was my next doll, Grace Thomas. Um, she is actually not the diva of the family. I know that's pretty popular to have Grace be a diva. But no, she actually really likes to draw and is quite a shy person. I got her in 2016 at, I think, her debut at the American Girl New York store. And yeah, I don't really, I don't really connect with her that much, but she's still a really cute doll. This is Hazel Clark. Um, I got her on her debut in 2016. Her hair is a really bad mess. Whenever I brush it, it turns into, like, hairspray texture. I love her. She's such a photogenic doll, but because of her hair, I just don't use her that much. She is also my only Jewish doll, and her personality is that she likes to model. This is Harley Davidson, my Truly Me 55. I got her secondhand from a friend. She is the youngest in the family and definitely the therapist sort of friend. I should definitely take photos of her more often than I do because I love her so much, but I just don't get around to doing that. This is my next doll, Luciana Vega. I call her Lucy and I got her on her debut in 2018. She is the first doll that I made into a trans character and is dating both Serenity and Aphrodite. They are in a poly relationship. Um, she loves STEM and yeah, I'm really proud of Lucy's character. This is Clarissa Ismailova. She is a Tenny Grant doll and I got her the day after perma panties were discontinued. Uh, her hair I don't really use her a lot because her hair falls out a lot. It doesn't really keep the curl a lot, but I really like her. She is uh, my second trans doll character and is Russian. This is Rhea McEachin, my Truly Me 44. She is the cook of the family, loves to cook, wants to go to culinary school, and I don't take photos of her a lot, again, but I love her. She's so photogenic, and I should definitely take more photos of her. You we're getting into some pretty cool territory right now. So this is Serenity Akina. She's my Kanani Akina doll and was voted my most iconic doll by a landslide on Instagram. She is a very irresponsible doll, but you know, other than that, I love her and I think she's an amazing doll. This is my next doll, Tessa Wilson. I love her so much. She's the diva of the family and is another trans doll. I have a lot of trans dolls because that's just one of my favorite things to have. And she is a Blair Wilson Girl of the Year 2019. This is Aphrodite Wardle, my Truly Me 64. She is one of my most used dolls, and I just love her so much. She is Korean, very sporty, and I got her a couple months after I got Tessa. This is Amina McEachin, my Truly Me 64. And I love her so much. I don't use her a lot, and for what reason, I really do not know. She is a very quiet doll, my only Sonali mold, and she is also Muslim. This is Arden Brown, my custom gray stall. I got her for $5 from Goodwill, and I'm so happy with how she turned out. Sorry about her messy hair right now, but other than that, she loves to read and is Irish. She is also dating Hera. This is one of my most recent dolls, Leo Ismailova. He is Clarissa's twin and was made from Lily, my Truly Me 59. He's dating Hazel, and he does ballet. So this is Hera Banks. Sorry about the sudden set change. This was filmed like a week after. This is Hera Banks and I got them February 21st of 2021. They are my first Addie Mold, are non-binary, and love astrology. So those were all my dolls as of March 2021. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be doing this again next year. See you next video. Ugh. Come on, Serenity. It's starting. Am I late? I literally did not notice.
Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Exactly, it means the world to us. Well, we gotta go. See you next video.